Hello, everybody, and welcome to Working the Hour with Richard Villa. Today, I have a very special guest, my brother, Teddy, one of the funniest men I know. I don't know why he's not oh. doing stand-up, <laughs> but I wanted him to be the first one because I really, really respect his opinion when it comes to comedy, to humor. Uh, never guided me the wrong way. Well, sometimes, sometimes, some of these jokes. You know what? Right. I think it's just because I'm, I'm willing to tell you, like, bro, that shit is crap. Don't do yeah, that. Yeah, that is true. Don't do that. When you have an opening act and you go, hey, bro, how did you like that? Oh, you're brilliant. And I shut the hell up. <laughs> okay, so there's just a few rules to this, this session. Uh, very quick, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. I don't okay. need your negativity. Uh, vice versa. As they come to me, when we have these writing sessions, I'll also work out their material. But today is my material. So uh, we don't say anything negative. Uh, you can suggest things. You can say, hey, that joke's been done. Maybe go this direction. This is where I've seen it. But, you know, there's no accusations here. We, we're just here to work on material. You can ask the comedian, do you want me to interrupt you as you're doing your material? And that's something that comedians are okay with. I'm okay with as, as I'm doing my, my joke or as I'm setting up my premise. Um, I like people to interrupt me to make it funnier. I'm recording this anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'll go back and write down. But if you don't, just let us know and we'll just make notes. Other than that, have fun. It's a safe zone where everything goes. It doesn't matter how dark you get or how oh. crazy you get. Okay. It it is it is up to you how you want to express okay. yourselves. Our our our. If I have nothing good to say about what you just said, I'm just gonna say, oh, well, that's interesting. <laughs> Yeah, like this is not nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah. Comedians do it all the time. I, I actually okay. have a few uh, friends that will be on the show that have participated in these writing sessions. But I just want the audience to get a glimpse of what it's like developing material. Okay. So um, uh, after today, uh, I, today we have a show. So the writing sessions are usually during the day before the show. So everything I work out today, I'm actually going to present tonight at an actual venue, at an actual show. So I'm working all this material out to present tonight. So you'll get to see it from this table to the stage. So we're gonna break this down, correct me if I'm wrong, but we're gonna break this down in like three categories, right? Yes. So it's premise. Premise, setup, setup, punchline. Let's kick this off. Uh, let's do it. Uh, so one of the jokes I wanna work on, uh, Teddy, is uh, my daughter. My daughter is now turning 10. And, wow. and it's Christmas time, and me and my wife are just fed up with getting Buddy out, you know, the elf. Oh, my God, we, I hate would, that. Oh, I hated it. I hated getting this thing out. And my wife more because she ended up doing it because I'm always working at night. Yeah. So she couldn't wait till I got home, so she ends up doing it every single night till Christmas. And yeah. she's just fed up with coming up with ideas and uh -huh. trying to work out the lie sometimes we would get caught lying <laughs> like you know we get caught setting him up like, this is elf on the shelf right yeah elf on, elf the, on shelf. the shelf and the thing is other parents are now making tiktoks and sharing their ideas so yes it one it makes it easier for you guys to, to come, come up, up with concepts but it makes it harder to hide Yes, because Oli has a, a, an iPad yeah so so she's going through it now okay. how do how do we hide this stuff from her so I, I spoke to my wife and I said, no, let's let's come clean. We're going to come clean this year with Oli okay. when it comes to, to Christmas. And and I had that talk with her. I said, uh, Mija, you know, you're 10 years old now. And, and what I want you to know is that, that, you know, there's no Santa. You know that, right? She's like, I know. I was like, then why would you not yeah. tell me? He says, well, you liked it so much. I was She's like, like what the? <laughs> I'm going to keep it going. She's I never like, liked it. Yeah. <laughs> she, she was doing it for she me. She was doing it for you. So I guess she knew already, so it wasn't that big breakup. But uh, I told her about Buddy. She says, yeah. So I told her, okay, so now you know, we, we got to keep this a secret for the rest of the kids. Okay. Like, you can't ruin it for your little cousins. And she's like, yeah, yeah, we'll keep it a secret. And I'm, I'm afraid that when she's at school, because she can't hold her emotions. Mm -hmm. She's just like me. Like, when I go to church. When I go to church and the priest goes on a rant about what God did and how he opened the sea, Moses opened, and I'm like, oh, come on. Uh, like, uh, yeah. like, I'm afraid Ooh. my daughter's going to be at the Christmas party with all the other kids going like, oh, come on. Come on, guys. Come guys, on. I know the truth. If you really knew. <laughs> yeah. If you really knew. Yeah. Like the faces that she's going to make. Like. So how do you take those like personal experiences and mold them into a joke itself? So. <laughs> also, is 10 years the cutoff? I made it a cutoff. I don't know. Maybe that's a good question. Is 10 did... years a cutoff? Is that something that you like it would be worth pointing out in your joke premise? Like, I want the audience to understand what I'm going through because I, they need to associate with me. Yeah. So they're going to go, okay, I have a little girl. You're, you were curious because the first thing you asked me was, 
is 10 to 8 because you might, might have I have kids. kids as well. So, so as an audience member, when I say 10, it triggers everybody that either had a 10-year-old or is having a 10-year-old. Mm -hmm. or is Close to it. Close to it. Or used to have a 10-year-old. Who also deals with fucking Buddy every night. Yes. yes. Do you understand? Or used to deal with Buddy every or night. Or used to deal with Buddy. So... By them letting them know, I think in the joke, we should really justify the 10. And you might be asking yourself, okay. because we're, we're almost mind reading. Yes. And I think the audience loves it when you guess what they were thinking. The fact that you surprise them yes. and go, oh, shit, me too. I hate that. Okay. Okay. So I think more, should I do it as, a, as the joke? I can set it up almost like a, uh, a help to situation. A how to. A, yeah. a how to situation, like how to deal with. And why do it? Because it's a tough decision as a parent that you're going to about to break to your kids that there's no Santa. A guide on how to break bad news to your yeah, kids? When it comes to Santa. I think that's And then good. I can start the joke. I can. This is the setup. Mm -hmm. The setup is, is now, my premise is now how to break kids, how to break it to kids that there's no Santa. My setup is this, setting it up. It's like this. It's like telling your son that, you know, your uncle Martin is no longer Martin. Mm -hmm. your tia Maria now. Like you explain that. Like you sit him down. Okay. You tell him the punchline is. I think what I review at the end, where like now I'm worried that she can't hold her emotions. She's just like me. Like if if I'm angry, you could tell. If I'm sad, like she is so like facially like you could tell. Like yeah. I could see her at a Christmas parade or something on stage, and and they always have the Christmas parties, and I can see her going. <sighs> What if, okay, what if she goes, okay, you know how, like, she knows this. You've revealed it. You're at the point where she revealed the fact, and she, you guys agree, like, I know this is fake now. What about she goes and tries to blackmail him at the mall? Like, you take her to Santa, they sit on the lap, and she's yeah. like, what do you want for Christmas? Like, all right, listen, homie, the gig is up. The you know, the up. jig is up. I know, like, what if that place comes into play where... Not, not, not even that. What if we're walking by and she goes, you know, he's not real. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Like, Mika, stop. Yeah. Like, 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 I'm afraid she's going to say that. Like, that's the kind of person... Because I am like that. You understand? Yeah. I'm that asshole. Embarrassing as fuck. Embarrassing as fuck. Like, I could, I'm that guy. Because she is a duplicate of me, just a yeah. female version of me. Yeah. So I know she would do that to embarrass me. Like, not, not even embarrass me. She would think, like, she's being smart about it. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, she's like... Well, like I'm above you guys because yeah, I me, know. Let like, me let you know. Yeah, let, let me, me drop you. some knowledge. You know he's not real. Like why, Mija? Shut up. Like yeah. well, there's no need for you to let everybody know. <laughs> now that's the that's the yeah. difficult part. Is how do we make that the connection? The connection. So a joke. The the shorter the jump is, the mm -hmm. less dangerous it is, the less funnier it is. Really. The the wider the gap is, and, the and bigger the, the payout. The payout, the bigger the, the payout, because now you're oh shit, am I gonna make it or not make it? And then you make it, and you're like, wow, that's fucking loud. Yes. Too far apart, you miss the joke completely. They don't get they, it. They never hit. Okay. So it can hit, but it's not that because we saw it coming. Yeah. Type of, we saw that joke coming. It doesn't hit that much. Or the other one, we don't get it. We missed it. We didn't connect this one to this one. There's a fine side. balance. So it's a fine balance where huh. people, person can go, oh, shit, you took it there. You took it there. Oh, shit, it landed. People got the joke. They got the humor. All right, guys. Well, that is it. I've enjoyed this time with my brother working out this new material. Thank you very much for joining us on this writing session called Working the Hour. I would love to bring more friends to this podcast, this, this little setup, and, and see how they would give me some punchlines, yeah. just like you did. So super excited to bring more and more friends onto this, uh, this new platform, this new idea. So if you enjoyed it, please give us a follow, tag, say like, uh, and I can't wait for the next one. Also, you know what would be fun? What? Have, have them drop comments on how they can pun help punch it up, too. Premises. You want something? Us as comedians, we love premises. Give us ideas. Throw us ideas. And if it comes with an article, even better. Like, if you go, Richard, talk about this. And send me the link to the article. I will read it. I'll give you credit for it. And I will there write a go. joke. And I will, I will yeah. concrete or whoever I bring over to sit down next to me. I'll let them know, hey, one of our fans brought us a joke. They want me to work on this one. And I'll do it. That would be cool. Are you down? That would be cool. Yeah. All right. And guys, you guys should leave a comment. If you guys want to help Richard develop his hour or any other comics that are on the show, drop a comment. Let them know. Uh, it might just make it. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you very much. This is Working the Hour with Richard Villa.
My daughter's 10 now. And now, this year, I told her there's no Santa. I told her. I said, no, 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 don't boo fuck you. It's hard work. <laughs> you know how hard it was to put a buddy every fucking night? That's fucking... From, look, I wouldn't leave a club drunk as fuck. And my wife, no, we got to put a buddy. Fuck buddy. <laughs> no, I saw this on TikTok. We got to do it. I'm more fucking rigging shit at 2 in the morning. Make sure my daughter wakes up to a buddy. Oh, my God. Look, fuck this shit. I'm glad I told her already. I had to let it out. I couldn't keep that fucking lie. You don't know how many times she's caught us at the fucking night. <laughs> the fucking buddy. <laughs> I told her, I told her, I said, Mija, hey, we need to talk. You're 10 now. So there's no Santa. She's like, I know. Fuck. <laughs> when did you know that? When did you know? Oh, I knew at eight. When I was eight years old, the girl at school told me. Then why the fuck did you have us keep doing the body shit for two more years? She said, I thought you liked it. <laughs> I hate this shit. <laughs> Today you learned something as parents. Christmas is coming. Use this information wisely. Go sit down with your kids and go, look, bitch, do you know what this is? Tell me the truth. <laughs> do you know this is fake? <laughs> You know what? My daughter is so sarcastic, she can't hide it. She is su she's just like me. If she's pissed, you can see it. If, if, if she's being sarcastic, you can see it. And I hate the fact that I told her because they're going to have Christmas parties. I know they're going to have Christmas parties. <laughs> God damn, that's loud. <laughs> I used to make pizza. That's it. Well, that's enough. Thank you. So now I know she's going to be at those Christmas parties at her school because they have a big play. And they talk about Santa, my daughter's gonna be like. <laughs> like me at church. <laughs> Virgin. Ah. Really? They followed the star. 